It is no secret that the medical application process can be ruthless. Trying to balance studying for your A-levels on top of intense UCAP preparation, writing your personal statement and trying to get work experience can feel near impossible. But with the right study plan and effective time management, you can make it work. So in this video, I'm going to share some top tips that will help you prepare for your UCAT exam effectively and perform to the best of your abilities in your A-levels whilst ensuring you don't burn out in the process. So let's get into it. Tip number one is to plan the date of your UCAT exam effectively. Choosing the right UCAT date for you is an important first step. This year, bookings for the 2024-2025 application cycle open on the 18th of June and spots get filled up pretty fast. Make sure that you pick a date that will allow you sufficient time to prepare for the UCAT exam. Keeping in mind that most candidates perform best with at least four to eight weeks of revision. Think about any other commitments that you might have around the date of your exam. Things like other exams or holidays or commitments with your friends or your family. Keeping this in mind will help you to choose the right UCAT date for you. And if you want to know more about all of the important dates for the UCAT in 2024, then you can check out this video here. Tip number two is to make a to-do list. Make a list of all of the important tasks that you have to do within a time period. Be as specific as possible and make a note of all of the essential and non-essential tasks that you have to complete and highlight the most important ones. Making a list of everything that you need to do will not only help with your time management, but it will help you to see that your tasks are finite, even though it may seem like the work will go on forever and ever in your head. Think carefully about the tasks that you write down to be completed. Something that I find super helpful when I am making my to-do list is to use the SMART framework. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. For F specific, the task should be very clearly defined. For example, UCAT preparation is too vague and that will make it very difficult to achieve. For example, consider something like complete one verbal reasoning section within timed conditions, as this will make it much more easy for you to know exactly what you need to do and the time frame that you need to do it within. M is measurable and it is really useful to have an end point for you to know when something is completed. For example, complete one full UCAT mock has a very clear end point. You know exactly what you need to do and what it means to complete your task. This is important to help you minimize burnout and prevent you from overworking. A is attainable. You want to make sure that any task that you write down to complete is realistic and attainable within a certain time period. For example, aiming to revise every single topic and every section in one period of time is unrealistic and will lead you to burnout. It is much more effective and motivational to set smaller and more attainable goals. R is relevant. When there is so much work to do, it's really important that whatever task you are focusing on or you are carrying out is directly related to the work that you actually need to get done. Think about the most effective ways that you can prepare for both your UCAT exam as well as your A-levels and try to minimize any unnecessary or meaningless work. And T is time bound. This is one of the most common pitfalls when it comes to setting tasks. People don't often set a realistic goal within a certain time period. A vague task such as revise abstract reasoning may never be fully completed in a single sitting. And this may lead you to believe and feel like you're never gonna be able to complete it. Make sure that you set a specific time that you want to complete something in. This will motivate you to actually get it done and will allow you to monitor your progress and will help you to monitor whether the amount of work that you're doing is appropriate. Tip number three is to make a revision timetable. Once you have listed all of the tasks that you need to complete, try and plan your time and set a deadline for the completion of those tasks. Some people may prefer to write an hour by hour schedule for work. 
Regardless of how you plan your timetable though, make sure that you leave enough time to complete the tasks that you need to complete and avoid overcrowding your schedule. It is always good to have a flexible approach and to maybe leave a bit more extra time because you never know when extra work might need to be done or things might change last minute. Many students come to us every year feeling very stressed out about planning their revision, saying that they don't know where to start or how to do it. So one of the things that we do for our students is make a very detailed plan that is tailored to every individual. So if you are interested in finding more about how we can do that for you, then check out our website. Tip number four is learn to prioritize. It can be extremely difficult to balance out your A-level preparation with your UCAT exam. So think about the most important and urgent tasks and any upcoming deadlines that you have. For example, if you are closer to sitting your final exams, then you might want to focus on studying for your A-levels. Make sure to consider which of these tasks are the most important and need to be completed most urgently, depending on the application timeline. I recommend that you check out this video here, where I go through every single stage of the application cycle month by month so that you can stay on top of things. And finally, the most important thing to keep in mind is tip number five. Ensure that you have enough time to relax. Applying to medical school takes so much effort and it's really easy to forget that you need to take time to rest. Always create time to do the things that you enjoy. Although it might seem counterproductive at the time, ensuring that you have time to relax, to do your hobbies and to see your friends and family has been proven to boost your motivation and your productivity. It is also really important to work at your own pace. Don't compare yourself to other people or look at what other people are doing and feel like you are behind. You might work differently to others. Remember that the entire application process is very long and requires a lot of time and commitment. So it can be really easy to burn out throughout the process. It is so important that you have a clear focus on your own work while also ensuring that you make time to do the things that you enjoy and that energize you. I would recommend that you intentionally make time into your schedule where you will rest and do things for you that you enjoy and that will refresh you. And once again, if you are looking for more guidance on how to prepare throughout the application cycle and you would like some one-to-one -one support, then check out FutureDoc's website. If you found this video useful and would like some more content like this, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.